Egypt's sending troops and military vehicles into North Sinai to stamp out any further violence by armed gunmen. Fighters attacked security checkpoints, killing 16 Egyptian border guards earlier in the week. This is the first military operation by the Egyptian army in Sinai since its peace deal with Israel in 1979. As you can see, tanks, heavy machinery, the big guns, so to speak, traveling through Area B, Al Arish, which uh, is just uh, 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 less than 100 kilometers away from the border with Israel. Uh, significant to mention also that the army is not only coming with heavy weaponry and redeployment of troops here in Sinai, there is also a political push to ensure and to assure the people of Egypt that authorities are not only trying to avenge the killing of 16 soldiers on that attack uh, uh, last Sunday, but they're also trying to enforce some sort of control and stability and security in what has been a very lawless Sinai Peninsula. We've had the Interior Minister meeting with tribal leaders who have been the de facto leaders of the Sinai uh, for the past few years. He met with them on Thursday night, and now we've had on Friday President Mohamed Morsi in his second visit since that attack here in uh, uh, Al Arish. So a lot of movement, a lot of development, and certainly a lot of uh, muscle flexing by the military. Uh, in their bid to enforce their control over Sinai. All right, well, here's a breakdown of troops in the Sinai. Take a look at this. This is what's allowed under the terms of the 1979 Camp David peace treaty between Egypt and Israel. Zone A is marked in the west by the Suez Canal. An Egyptian infantry division with military installations and field fortifications are based there. In the middle is Zone B, and there are four battalions here consisting of up to uh, 4,000 troops. Zone C, the one closest to Israel, is in the east, and UN forces and Egyptian police are stationed here. Well, the police are armed with only light weapons. An additional 1,500 troops were deployed to zones B and C, and that was last year.